Hey guys. Welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about working with backups. Working with backups. Amazon RDS creates and saves automated backups of your DB instance during the backup window of your DB instance. RDS creates a storage volume snapshot of your DB instance, backing up the entire DB instance, and not just individual databases. RDS saves the automated backups of your DB instance, according to the backup retention period, that you specify. If necessary, you can recover your database, to any point in time, during the backup retention period. Automated backups follow these rules. Your DB instance must be in the available state for automated backups to occur. Automated backups don't occur while your DB instance is in a state other than available, for example storage underscore full. Automated backups and automated snapshots don't occur while a copy is executing in the same region for the same DB instance. You can also back up your DB instance manually by manually creating a DB snapshot. The first snapshot of a DB instance contains the data for the full DB instance. Subsequent snapshots of the same DB instance are incremental, which means that only the data that has changed after your most recent snapshot is saved. You can copy both automatic and manual DB snapshots and share manual DB snapshots. Backup Storage Your Amazon RDS backup storage for each region is composed of the automated backups and manual DB snapshots for that region. Total backup storage space equals the sum of the storage for all backups in that region. Moving a DB snapshot to another region increases the backup storage in the destination region. Backups are stored in Amazon S3. If you chose to retain automated backups, when you delete a DB instance, the automated backups are saved for the full retention period. If you don't choose retain automated backups, when you delete a DB instance, all automated backups are deleted with the DB instance. After they are deleted, the automated backups can't be recovered. If you choose to have Amazon RDS create a final DB snapshot before it deletes your DB instance, you can use that to recover your DB instance. Or you can use a previously created manual snapshot. Backup window Automated backups occur daily during the preferred backup window. If the backup requires more time than allotted to the backup window, the backup continues after the window ends until it finishes. The backup window can't overlap with the weekly maintenance window for the DB instance. During the automatic backup window, storage I.O. might be suspended briefly while the backup process initializes, typically under a few seconds. You might experience elevated latencies for a few minutes during backups for multi as deployments. For MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, and PostgreSQL, I.O. activity is not suspended on your primary during backup for multi as deployments because the backup is taken from the standby. For SQL Server, I.O. activity is suspended briefly during backup for multi as deployments. If you don't specify a preferred backup window when you create the DB instance, Amazon RDS assigns a default 30 minute backup window. This window is selected at random from an 8 hour block of time for each AWS region. Backup Retention Period You can set the backup retention period when you create a DB instance. If you don't set the backup retention period, the default backup retention period is one day if you create the DB instance using the Amazon RDS API or the AWS CLI. The default backup retention period is 7 days 
if you create the DB instance using the console. After you create a DB instance, you can modify the backup retention period. You can set the backup retention period to between 0 and 35 days. Setting the backup retention period to 0 disables automated backups. Manual snapshot limits, 100 per region, do not apply to automated backups. Important An outage occurs if you change the backup retention period from 0 to a non zero value or from a non zero value to 0. This applies to both single AS and multi AS DB instances.